a common thing that agile teams do is they use burn downs to figure out uh, how things are going throughout the sprint. I've got to say, burn downs are agile banditry. The whole idea of burn downs, in order for a burn down to move from top left to bottom right in a reasonable linear fashion, you have to have planned the whole sprint up front. Right? In order to have a project burn down or a product burn down, moving from top left to bottom right, you have to have planned the whole product or project up front. Hopefully we can all be on the same page that if we're doing, if we're building products that don't exist yet, right, we're developing products that don't exist, then there's too much variance, too many surprises, too much complexity in what it is we're doing to really plan the next six months worth of work. It's always going to change more than we would like. And if we look at data from like the Standish group, uh, they do the chaos report, for example, you'll find that 65% that of uh, things that we build change over the life of the product. And in fact, even worse than that, only 30% of the features that we do build are actually used by our customers. The rest are used little if ever, right? So that bring those two things together. We have a massive amount of unknowns in what we're doing. It's usually always more than 50%. So we know less than half of what we're going to have to figure out along the way. And that means that being able to plan up front, even the next 10 day sprint, is just a ridiculous exercise in making stuff up. Ridiculous exercise in telling a fictional story. The reality is you should walk out of sprint planning with no more than is needed to get started. That's how big your plan should be, getting started in the sprint. How big should your plan be for your product? Enough to get started, right? Or enough to convince somebody to give you the money. That's also, you know, you might need more for that. But that ability to get started is all you need. So you maybe walk out of sprint planning with 24 hours worth of work. We've planned the next 24 hours because we're going to get together every 24 hours and plan the next 24 hours after that. So we don't really need more than the first 24 hours to get started. If we're going to build a product, we don't really need that much more than the first sprint to get started. What are the backlog items we're going to do? Maybe during that sprint, we can come up with, you know, how far out into the future we do want to look, but you want it to be minimal, but sufficient. You want to have less stuff to manage, less stuff in these things. That's why uh, uh, burn downs are one of the reasons that you can't tell what's going on. This is the banditry part of uh, um, it being uh, for bandits. It's that um, if I if I plan the whole sprint, right? Um, and I've get, let's say I've got five developers working on my product and I've got five stories coming into the backlog and each of those five stories has 10 tasks that I'm going to write down as part of my plan how many uh, per person, right? How many tasks do I have at the end? I have lots of, lots and lots and lots of tasks. What happens on day two of the sprint when you figure out that your plan wasn't that great and 50% of it needs to change because you figured out something new? It gets out of date. And the reason it gets out of date is because none of your developers they, they want to focus on delivering the stuff because we're under pressure to, to deliver the product, deliver the value, and yet they need to go and edit or manage these hundred things that are in the, pro in, the in the sprint backlog, right? Don't have them there. You don't need them. All you need is a just in time, just enough plan, either for the sprint or a just in time, just enough plan for your product in order to start get started and get developing uh, your product. So don't get stuck uh, in that rut of too much planning up front, which is what a burn down forces you to do. Stop being a bunch of agile bandits and focus instead 
on continuous flow of value through your system. If you are being ambushed by agile bandits in your organization, then my team at Naked Agility can help, or we can help you find a consultant or expert who can. You can set up a no obligation consultation using the links below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.